wait for the others because we have limited time and we want to share everything for, to you about our lecture discussion for today. So once again, welcome to the National Council for Physical Educators of the Philippines or NCPEP Incorporated. Of course, this project is in cooperation with Rotary Abad Santos. So we want to present to you our free webinar series. So we are very fortunate to have our resource speaker around the world. Okay, and our next uh, resource speaker, of course, is very credible in his um, field of interest or expertise. Okay, so may I introduce to you once uh, our next speaker, Mam Ji, please. Ah, uh, yes. Speaker is from Korea. Uh, he is a certified <laughs> personal trainer, a licensed uh, physical educator, sports creation, a uh, fitness professional. Uh, so without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Ryan J. Vega. Meron po siya. Okay. Sir, you have the floor po. Okay. Uh, good morning sa inyong lahat. Hope, uh, first of all, I want, uh, I want you all to be safe and healthy and uh, away from all this... Uh, pandemic that we're experiencing right now. Wala ko marunin. yung lahat. Pasensya na po kayo. At uh, this is my first time to talk and hopefully I could do, I could uh, 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 deliver. Ano ba ka ba Just to confirm, uh, uh, Doc G, we're recording already. Yes po. Okay, we're recording already. Okay, um, I would like to thank uh, Doc G sa initiative to conduct this free webinar. So since a free, this is free uh, uh, webinar, uh, please bear with us kung ano man ang mga pagkakamali namin, kung meron mga extension, o kung ano man mangyayari later on. But so far, we're here to, to help out, to, to give you free uh, discussion on... Uh, uh, specifically on the DepEd uh, new manual, uh, revised manual as of December 2019 with regards to physical uh, fitness testing. Okay, so thank you kay uh, Doc G at saka kay Ma'am uh, Carion of Makati as well. And welcoming everybody. So my name is Ryan Vega. I'm also a physical educator. And I had seven years experience as a PE PE teacher back home in the Philippines, both uh, private and public. Uh, for the last 16 years, I'm here in the Middle East, not in Korea. <laughs> so I'm here in the Middle East uh, being a fitness, uh, started as fitness trainer and group exercise uh, instructor and then worked my way up to become a personal trainer. So what's the, what's my drive? My drive was Seeing the seeing our uh, Philippine society being left out when it comes to physical education, recreation, and sports, especially in sports, no. So I'm a I'm, I'm passionate about sports and my craft and my field. So here I am, try uh, helping you out, guys. Maybe sharing my knowledge on how I understand fit, uh, fitness testing and that. So without further ado. We will uh, proceed with the topic of uh, fitness testing. So I will share with you the uh, um, revised uh, manual. Ng, uh, uh, Doc? Yes, Doc G, I, think I, I don't have the uh, capability of sharing the screen. Uh, okay, wait. Napin ko lang yung ano mo. So, just, just uh, while wait, waiting for that, I'm a certified ACE uh, personal trainer. So, uh, ang, uh, ang, uh, ACE is, uh, stands for American Council on Exercise. It's a standard, uh, uh, it's rather, it's an international uh, uh, organization that uh, certifies personal trainer as a uh, 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 fitness professionals at hindi lang personal training marami pa silang certification okay so I'm also a certified rehab trainer rehab trainer um, suspension trainer um, ano ba, ba? Uh, 
I also have a certification on Mad Dog USA as a, uh, a spinning instructor. Uh, uh, marami ng certification ako natin and, and I also attended, I went to Germany as well on fitness convention with Pico back in 2000, 2017. So that's that. And Wait, uh, initially we're supposed to to discuss a uh, standard. Then again, it came out. It came out na it will not be applicable sa studyante natin because ACE standard is ano um yung norms nila was used for adults and of course our students are not our minors not adults. So it came down to discussing uh, fitness testing on uh, from dev ed. Okay na tayo, Doc G. Okay, I'll share the hosting. Uh, tapos, uh, I don't know how, kung paano pa makakapasok yung iba. So, uh, eto na, sa'yo na yung host. So, so that you may share your uh, lecture. Larry! Hello. Brother Larry. In yes. Okay, yes, I'm sir. Good morning. morning. <laughs> okay na, Sir Ryan. You may share you know. your. Okay. So initially, ang idit he share ko sa inyo is yung revised. There. Yeah. Nakikita niyo po ba lahat? Yeah, admit ko to doc yung mga pumapasok. Yes, paki na lang. Okay. Hello. There you go. Uh, I came up with consolidating all the norms ng revised uh, uh, fitness testing manual and put it in an Excel sheet. Okay, this is the, ano, ito yung pinaka magandang parte nung isinishare ko sa inyo. I bet all of you understand what fitness testing is. How it's done. You had experience. You have, you had experience on uh, on uh, on giving it, uh, providing it, executing it. Ano ba yung word? Okay. So alam na po niyo yan. I bet. Lang tawo niyo yung ginagawa pa ulit ulit. No? But the thing is, uh, the question is, are we really using yung data to really help us in our program and our athletic uh, development? Hello, Sherry. Welcome in. Dami pa rin pumapasok, Doc. So, mapapasok ko lang. So, na-share kanina ni Doc yung ating uh, objectives. And my objectives were um, to help you, to help you guys understand fitness testing more and hopefully use it uh, use the data better on your PE program and your uh, athletic athletic program, and have the appreciation of these norms, para talagang matulungan natin yung mga estudyante natin at yung mga ano yung mga atleta natin to develop and to really appreciate as well yung fitness testing para magamit din nila in the future, kasi really Itong fitness testing is 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 very important doon sa pagpapaganda ng ng pagpapaganda ng kalusugan, pagpapaganda ng katawan. Uh, uh, but uh, nagkakaroon lang ng misinformation about pagdating na sa adulthood, nagkakaroon tayo ng misinformation about fitness, about health, about ano na na, na nadadarang tayo ng mga ano ng mga produkto at saka ng mga ng mga marketing kaya naliligaw ang mga adults pero kung this fitness testing ay alam na ng lahat alam na ng mga estudyante o kayo mismo as teachers alam din niyo ito mas madali nang atakihin yung ano eh pagdating niyo sa adulthood mas madali nang aatakihin yung pagiging fit pagiging well pagiging ano healthy madali lang sa totoo lang O titignan ninyo yung norm natin dito, napakadali lang. Napakadali lang maating. So, 
at uh, lastly, I, I want I want you guys to recognize that the you know how the knowledge and the know how of of this fitness testing. Hopefully, it would help you. You know, with your exercise, what to attack, what what what's more important, know what's more important, and ano yung pinaka ano pinaka beneficial para sa lahat. But you know what? It's not lifting weights. It's never just lifting weights. So I want, gusto kong tanggalin sa isipan ng ng tao na kapag ka nagdecide sila mag-exercise, first the first thing they will do is get a membership from a gym. And just lift weights, which generally it's, it's never the case. You do have to uh, think about uh, other things. I will show you one uh, one. Nakita uh, document. So again, those are my objectives, though. A better understanding about fitness testing, testing protocols, and its importance to physical education and athletic programs. An appreciation about the normal fitness levels in relation to striving for personal, for personal development, health, being fit, and well. Recognize and execute that knowledge and know-how of know-how of accurate and reliable. Okay, so. Ayun po yung AC standard do. Kung titignan niyo po yung AC uh, integrated fitness training model, yun po yung tinatawag namin four paces. Baka yun yung mga stages of improvement sa cardiorespiratory training at saka sa functional movement and resistance training. Kung titignan niyo po yung bawat pace, um, most of our clients don't really get to phase four. four. Both on cardiorespiratory training and functional movement resistance training. Unless, unless they are athletes or naturally athletes or naturally gifted or genetically gifted, no? Or they're really looking for competitiveness. So, yung 3-4, medyo mahirap pong abutin yan. Karamihan ng tao, naglalaro lang between phase 2 and phase 3. Phase 1, ang kadalasan po natin nakakalimutan o binabypass, nilalaktawan. Wala pong madalang po kayong makakita na nag-work out because of stability and mobility. Or simply just aerobic, ano, aerobic-based training. Anyway, ito yung simple, simple lang po yan. Madali pong ma -attain. But anyway, pinakita ko lang po sa inyo just to add up some knowledge. Balik po tayo dun sa Revised uh, ano, manual. Ayan po. Just to... Nakikita ba ako? Admit. New share. Nakikita po ba yung, ano, yung uh, Revised Physical uh, Fitness Manual? Um, sir, yung nakikita dito sa screen is yung Physical Fitness Testing and Evaluation, yung Excel form natin. Ah, okay, okay. Ba't hindi mai, ano yung, ano, manual? Anyway, Okay, we will probably give you the revised uh, manual given by DepEd to uh, for for your ano, for your file. Okay, so again, alam na po niyo kung ano yung fitness testing. Ang ginawa ko lang po pinagsama-sama ko lang po siya sa isang Excel sheet. Ayan na po sa harapan niyo ngayon. Okay, so. There are two kinds of testing, of course, yung health, health related fitness testing, at saka yung skill related ano, uh, fitness testing. Of course, all of this fitness testing na ginagawa natin sa Pilipinas was designed for our own population, which we understand na walang gamit, 
hindi na natin pag-uusapan pa masyado yung mga problema na yan about walang gamit, walang space, walang oras, walang kung ano-ano. But that's uh, that's the problem na ha- hinaharap na natin for the longest time. What we want you to do, guys, is to really put more effort on teaching what fitness testing is and how it's done para ma-equip ang mga estudyante natin on how how they can do it alone right now, especially now na nagkakahiwa-hiwalay na tayo, wala na tayong face-to-face. So, importante na equip sila and ha- <clears throat> on how to do it properly para maging uh, uh, beneficial para sa kanila lahat. Okay? Para sa mga estudyante natin, para sa mga atleta natin. <clears throat> Considering the availability of facilities and equipment, problema na natin sa eskwelahan. Imagine, imagine, magtuturo tayo ng estudyante na nasa bahay na lang. So, ano meron sila? Wala. Generally speaking, ang mga estudyante natin, walang gamit. They will be lucky if they will have enough space to even do this printing test or this, this speed test. Right? So, what am I going to is that teaching teaching you guys or teaching our students to be really equipped to do exercises using nothing but their body weight, using nothing but their execution, but their... Oh. No, we will, we will finish in 10 minutes. <laughs> So I bet we will uh, get everybody back in again. So, ano po ba yung mga uh, requirements natin? Of course, alam na po ninyo lahat ng mga gamit na yan. Meron po ako dito for hexagon, for agility. Okay? Ano po yan? Actually, part yan ng ladder. Of course, you have your ruler and your meter stick. Importante na meron po kayong meter stick. Kung mga estudyante, of course, they should have their own tape measure. Yeah? Ano ba? Stopwatch. Or monochrome. Yung monochrome, pwede pong i-download yun. I bet may mga estudyante na merong mga cellphone. Pwede niyo sinilang sabihan na bumi, uh, mag-download ng monochrome para kapag ka nag-step test sila or anything with tempo that requires tempo, they can use the monochrome para mas maging accurate. Hindi pwede clap, clap, clap lang sa 3-minute step test. Kailangan meron tayong monochrome. Ah, ano pa po ba? Sipa. Ano po ba mga gamit? Napakarami pang gamit. Actually, it's here. Pwede kong isa-isahin later on. So, ang, man, ang, ang recommended po ng, uh, ng DepEd is that we would do we would do fitness te- testing at least three days. Meron pong schedules kung kailan pwede ninyong i-discuss ang bawat testing. And hopefully that would stick to the to our students kung paano nyo natin ituturo ang bawat isa. We will, um, just to inform everybody, we will, we will cut after 7 minutes and 40. 7 and 40? Wala pa isang oras yung tayo nagsasalita. Ah. Uh, anyway, we will invite everybody in again. I will bring it back to Doc G in a while. And then, we will invite everybody back in. Ito na po ngayon. Oh. Kung titignan niyo po yung Excel sheet, dadiretso na ako sa Excel sheet, lalagay niyo lang po yung pangalan at yung birthday. Automatic na pong magpapalit yan. Let's say my birthday is 9... Ah, sorry. September 23, 1977. Pagka pinasok ko na po yung birthday ko, magpapalit na po yung age dyan. Automatic. Okay? Uh, liba, liba, gusto ko naman palitan. O, oh, ayan, palitan ko lang po kung elementary o high school yung estudyante. 
43 years old na si John, uh, elementary pa din. <laughs> okay? So, ang pinalitan ko na po lahat yan, pinalitan ko po yung mga data na yan, lah lahat po ng uh, norm or test that requires age would you know, adjust to that norm already. Adjust their results already, automatic. Hindi na ninyo po kailangan baguhin pa. Okay? So, 15 years old is a high school student. Boy, ang height po niya is 1.45 meters. Kapag alam po nila is pounds, pumunta lang po kayo dun sa kabila. Pwede ninyo po, ah, rather, uh, in feet, punta lang po kayo dito sa kabila. Meron pong converter dyan. So, pag pinalitan niyo po yan dyan, lagay niyo lang po yung uh, height at saka yung weight. Same thing, kapag ka ang alam pounds, may converter po sa kanan. Pwede niyo pong i-convert. Ano, i Tapos, i-entry niyo po dito yung height and weight. Kapag ka nagkalagay na, nilagay na po ninyo yung height, let's say 1.35, tignan niyo po yung BMI, mag-aano mag na po yan. Mag- re-react na po yung ano, formula. Automatic. Yes? Hindi pa. Ano na lang? Pakita ko po. Ayan po. E6 is the height over weight to the second power to get that BMI. I hope. Ayan po yung formula ng BMI. Ayan po. Tapos ayan na po yung mga norm. Nakalagay na po yung tinatawag na, ano, na formula dyan. At saka yung, so mas madali na pong gamitin. Okay? Makukuha nyo na po kagad yung resulta. Okay, when it comes to maximum heart rate, ayan po, oh, ang ginamit ko pong formula is not the, the traditional 220 minus H because that was way back 1971. So, ang, ang, ang ginamit ko pong formula dyan is not even Tanaka. Tanaka is 2000. Tanaka et al. is 2001. This one is Gelish et al. Okay? It's 200. Ang kay Tanaka po kasi is uh, 208 minus 0.7 of the age. This is 206.9 minus 0.67% of your age. Yeah. So it gets us lower than my plus or minus seven beats per minute. So much closer, mas accurate. That's the point of it. So testing your resting heart rate is simple. You just need to know what your resting heart rate. The lower your resting heart rate is, the better you you are as an individual, cardio wise. Or if it goes lower than 60, um, it could go, it could say na this kid or this student can be an athlete. Yeah? Uh, by the way, pagka mga bata pa nasa elementary, their resting heart rate is ranging between 70 to 110. No? For an adult or for most teenagers and adult or early adult, uh, Normal is 60, between 60 to 90 beats per minute. Okay? So, paano po kinukuha ang resting heart rate? Pinaka-accurate po. Ang pinaka-accurate po ay uh, we will request our students na pagkagising bago tumayo, bago, bago pa man kahit na ano, we have to teach them how to get their resting heart rate. Okay? Pagkagising na pagkagising, For three consecutive days, susukatin nila ang kanilang resting heart rate using their radial pulse. Of course, you know how to get that. Tatlong beses po, tatlong araw para makuha nila yung average. Yun po yung pinaka-accurate na pagkuha ng resting heart rate. Okay? So, ilalagay po natin dyan. Oh, so, pagka nilagay po natin yung resting heart rate, all the training heart rates will be computed through carbon and method. Carbon and method na po yan. Kung gusto nyo palitan yung percentage ng workout ng, ng heart rate nila, pwede nyo pong palitan yung percentage. Ito po. 
para makuha po ninyo yung training heart rate o yung range kung saan mag-work out. Do we use that? I bet we don't. Nobody really uses it kasi we don't know how to count training heart rates o ano ba yung ano, paano ba yung beats per minute? Paano ba natin malalaman yun kung yun nasa level na yun ang mga estudyante? Easy. Pagka nag pagka nag-workout po sila since wala po tayo yung tinatawag na rest uh, ano na heart monitor. Of course, our students will not have the heart monitor. Kung merong heart monitor, 